Floyd Mayweather Jr. is considered by some as the best boxer of all time. The American has never lost a professional fight and boasts an incredible record of 50 wins from 50 fights. I wasn't just born to be a champion, I was born to be a superstar. The 44-year-old has won 26 consecutive world title fights and has been the biggest money maker in the sports for several years. The results of his hard work and dedication include belts in 5 weight classes and some huge fights during his immensely successful career. This is humiliating. The volume and power of his punches coming from all sorts of angles has produced 24 outstanding knockouts in his first 35 fights. Mayweather last stepped into the ring competitively in August 2017 against MMA crossover star Conor McGregor, winning by a stoppage in the 10th round. Welcome to Boxing Extra channel, press like and subscribe and let's take a look at the early years of Mayweather's career when he was a knockout master. Back in 1996, at the age of 19, Floyd Mayweather made his professional boxing debut as a super featherweight against 25-year-old Mexican Roberto Apodaca, another newcomer who would quickly discover that he was completely out of his depth against the future Hall of Famer. Round number one. Mayweather, oh, there there goes Four months into his professional career, Mayweather was on the hunt for his fourth victory when he took on the debuting Edgar Ayala. This fight. Big left by Kino Rodriguez, Bobby Gippert and Tony Duran. All three was knockout in first round. And Mayweather comes back. Towards the end of his first full year as a pro in October of 1997, Mayweather was already 10-0 and, and eager to build on that against Mexican journeyman Felipe Garcia. By 1998, the quality of opposition Mayweather had steadily began to rise and he would become a champion for the first time that October by winning the WBC and lineal super featherweight titles. For his first title defense a couple of months later, he'd go up against a popular Puerto Rican fighter, Angel Manfredi. Mayweather pounding, pounding. By the end of 1998, Mayweather was ranked by the ring as the number 8 pound for pound best boxer in the world and became one of the youngest recipients of the ring fighter of the year award, aged only 21, the same age Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali had won their first awards. And if he does the right things, his time will come. For the third defense of his super featherweight titles, Mayweather went up against Uganda's Justin Juko. While the fight lasted 9 rounds, Mayweather proved too much for the Ugandan, sending him crashing down with a solid blow to the face. Mayweather's final title defense of 1999 was against Carlos Guerrera with Mayweather winning by 7th round referee technical decision. In his next bout, an untitled lightweight fight against Emmanuel Burton, Mayweather would go on to win by technical knockout in round 9. In one of the more defining and memorable fights of Mayweather's career was on January 20th, 2001, against the hard-hitting former IBF World Super Featherweight Champion Diego Corrales. Coming into the bout, both Mayweather and Corrales were undefeated and neither fighter had touched the canvas. In the bout, Mayweather won every round and knocked down Corrales five times. Mayweather's last fight in the super featherweight division was against future super featherweight and lightweight titleist Jesus Chavez. This was Mayweather's 8th defense of the WBC Super Featherweight title, which he had held for more than 3 years. He won when Chavez's corner stopped the fight after round 9. In 2003, 
Mayweather was now the WBC lightweight champion and would go up against heavy hitting South African Philippe Ndo. In an impressive performance, Mayweather dominating the Ndo before flooring him with a series of right hands in the seventh. By the end of 2003, Mayweather was ranked the ring number one lightweight in the world and was the ring number five pound for pound best boxer in the world. On January 22, 2005, Mayweather fought against Henry Bruselas in another WBC Junior Welterweight title eliminator bout. Mayweather easily outclassed Bruselas throughout the first seven rounds. In round eight, Mayweather knocked down Bruselas twice and the fight was stopped. The win over Bruselas made Mayweather the mandatory challenger for Arturo Gatti's WBC Super Lightweight Championship. It was one of the more one-sided and impressive contests in boxing history. Throughout six rounds, the much faster Mayweather landed with nearly every big shot against Gatti, who had no offense with which he could return fire. This is humiliating. Gatti's corner stopped the fight after round six, giving Mayweather his third world title. When you look at him in the ring, you think he fights as naturally as a fish swims. After his fight with De La Hoya, it was announced that Mayweather will fight light welterweight champion Ricky Hatton. So Mayweather, goodbye. The bout was labeled undefeated and took place on December 8, 2007 at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas in a fight which was the biggest welterweight showdown of the two undefeated fighters since Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad met in their 1999 super fight. Floyd Mayweather is seen by many as the most brilliant defender in the sport. Mayweather controlled the fight from the start and knocked Hatton out in the 10th round to retain the welterweight championship. I've Again. done what I had to done in sport. Six-time world champion, five different weight class, 20 championship fights. I, I fought the best from all over the world, from Delahoy to Ricky Hatton, and the list goes on and on. I have nothing else to prove to the world. 